Little Fox. Ally on Earth. Ally Zuba of Australia. Chapter One. Party Plans. And here she is, the birthday girl, Ali Zuba. The DJ announced. The crowd cheered as Ali entered the large ballroom. Thank you all for coming to my party. She twirled around, showing off her new outfit. Happy birthday! Everyone cried, but from somewhere in the back of the room, a voice called, Ali Zuba. Ali kept twirling. Ali Zuba. The voice said more sharply. Ali's eyes flew open, abruptly ending her daydream. Ali Zuba, Delta 5X of Australia. Her father called from the main control room. Her family spaceship was docked on planet Dorpio 10 for her parents' latest peace mission. As Australians with astral minds, they flew all over the universe. They solved major problems like severe droughts, food shortages, even wars between galaxies. We're back. Ali's dad called. Our mission was a success, so we'll be taking off for home soon. Okay. Ali called back. She threw her voice so it would sound as if it were coming from another part of the ship. I'm just finishing up my homework. Ali picked up her tablet and continued planning her party. Dad won't come looking for me if he thinks I'm doing homework. She thought. But seconds later, her father burst into her sleep quarters. Homework, huh? Dad took Ali's tablet from her. You should watch what you think, daughter. You're not the only Australian who can read minds. Ali sighed. Oh, I was hoping you were too far away. I was close enough for you to throw your voice to trick me. So I was close enough to read your mind. He sat beside her, his expression softening. Mom and I are happy that you've mastered throwing your voice, and your levitation skills are improving. But you're past the age when most Australians start going on solo missions. You need to focus on your studies to prepare. Ali nodded. Okay, can I have my tablet back now? Back! I'm afraid not. Our astral minds are revered all over the universe because we use them to help others, not plan parties. But parties make people happy, Dad. Doesn't that count? Not as much as keeping the universe in peaceful balance, Dad said. Your mother and I have made up our minds. It's time for you to be more responsible. Fine. Ali sighed. <sighs> Send me to Planet Gray Zone. I can teach those dull Gray Zoners to be more colorful, like me. Ali's mom joined them. We're going to start with a simpler task. The communication device in Escape Pod Alpha needs repair. Fixing it is a skill you'll need when you start going on solo missions. Escape pods were kept on Australians' motherships in case things got dangerous, and a quick getaway was required. Ali moaned. Ugh, repairs are boring. Mom folded her arms and stared at her. Ali didn't need to read her mind to know she would never win this argument. Fine, I'll fix the comm device. She walked to her closet. I'll change out of my pajamas and then get started. A few minutes later, Ali emerged in a brightly colored outfit. She wore her favorite boots, which made her feet look especially big. That's your idea of work clothes? Ali's mother asked. Ali twirled around. Isn't this a cute outfit? Her mother sighed. <sighs> it's not very practical. It's fine for you to wear a boring old uniform, Mom, but I have to express my personality. It's what I'm known for. We want you to be known for doing good works throughout the universe, Mom said. When we were your age, we had already been on solo missions. She held out a tablet. Here's the manual for fixing the comm device. Take a look and let me know if you have any questions. Ali pretended to read through it for a moment. It seems simple enough. Mom frowned. 
You know how to check the meters? And make sure you unplug the... I know all that stuff. Allie rolled her eyes and flipped her tentacles. See you later. As she walked to the area on the ship where the pods were stored, Allie forced herself to think about homework. She didn't want her parents detecting her real thoughts right now. But as soon as she was out of range, those thoughts came spilling out. I can't believe they don't trust me with something as simple as fixing a comm device. I'll show them they're wrong. I am totally ready for real Australian missions! 